there's no doubt about it. Learning to color grade is difficult. And it's a bit easier if it's just landscapes or cityscapes like this drone footage. But if there's people in the shot, you have to be careful not to make skin colors look really weird and unnatural. This is something I've always struggled with a little bit. That is until I found this amazing free plugin. One way to help get good skin tones is click this button to get to the scopes and then click this drop down button and choose vector scope. You can also click this button to pop it out, make it a bit bigger. This scope represents where all of the colors are falling in the image. We've got red, magenta, blue, cyan, green, and yellow around the edge. You can see at the minute we've got a bit of a trend towards red here, and we've got this big spike down here for cyan, and that's these tube lights in the background. Click on this button to get to the settings of the vector scope, and then tick the show skin tone indicator button. This is going to give us this line here. This line is a guide to where all human skin colors should be. You can then take an empty node here, make sure you're in the power window section, click on this little pen icon and then draw around the skin. Click this little button here to invert the power window and then just drop the offset all the way down until everything except for the skin goes black. Now you can add a new serial node and in this serial node, you can start to alter the colors. If we look at the vector scope now, this is just showing us the area underneath that power window, the skin tones. You can see that they're tending away from this line more towards the red. And now you can make your color grading adjustments to try and get this closer to the skin tone line. For example, you can grab the dot in the middle of the offset here, left click and hold the mouse button down and just move this around. And you can see as I'm moving this offset around, it's changing what's displayed in the scope here and also changing the color of the skin. Double click to reset it, or you could adjust the temperature and the tint to try and get things closer to that line or any of the other tools in Resolve, such as the Hue versus Hue curves. But even following this workflow, I still found it difficult to get my skin colors looking good. That is until I started using the free tool I'm gonna show you next. By the way, I believe video can change the world and everyone can learn to make better looking, better sounding and better edited video. If that's something that you can get behind, please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. First head over to the link in the description to get to mononodes.com and scroll down until you see this free demo. Click on this utility demo and download it. This is gonna download a zip file. And if you open up this zip file, you can see this folder and inside this folder are some instructions. What you wanna do is copy this folder and then go and open up DaVinci Resolve, come up to the file menu, come down and choose project settings, click on the color management section, and then scroll down here and click the open LUT folder button. This is gonna open up the place on your hard drive where DaVinci Resolve looks for LUTs and plugins. Paste in the contents of that folder. And now you should see this mono utility DCL V1 demo folder. Close your project settings and then you're gonna to want to quit Resolve and then restart it. If you're wondering what these two nodes are at the bottom, this is setting up my color conversion. The video that we're working with was shot in a log format. So here we're just converting that log format to the DaVinci wide gamut color space. And then here we're converting it to what we want to deliver in, in this case, 709 and in between these two nodes is where we do all of the color grading. Check out the link in the description to a video where I go into this CST based workflow in a lot more detail. The tool we're going to use works best if it's looking at a Rec 709 image. So what I'm going to do after we've converted to Rec 709, I'm going to go and add a serial node after this and it's in this node where we're going to add the plugin. So come up to the top here and click effects, click the search bar and search for DCTL. If you can't see the node, hold down your middle mouse button and you can scroll these nodes around now. Drag this DCTL effect onto this last node. Come up to this drop down list and choose mono balance demo. Straight away you'll notice that all of the colors in the image go a bit crazy. Don't worry that's what we want. If you're wondering what these two big black boxes are this is a limitation of the free version. You can pay to get the full version and then you won't get these boxes. You can see by default in this plugin that this skin tone indicator checkbox is ticked. If I untick this, the image goes back to normal. But when we tick this box, it shows us the skin tones of the image and if they're correct or not. So what this plugin is doing is it's examining the skin tones in the image and it's going to color them the 
this magenta color, if the skin tones are too red, it's going to change the skin to yellow if the skin tones are correct, and it's going to change them to green if the skin tones are looking too green. So straight away, you can see that most of my face is too red to be considered good skin tones. I'm just gonna close the effects to give us a bit more space on the screen. Now, you don't wanna actually do your color corrections in this node where we just added the effect. You want to do your color corrections in between these two nodes. So we're gonna come up to this empty node here and we're gonna come down and grab the offset dot. We're gonna start moving this around. And as I move this around, you can see that now the skin tones are too green. Now skin tones are way too red. So we can just move this dot around until we get most of the face looking yellow. So the whole face doesn't have to be yellow, just most of it. You can see we've got a little bit of red here and a little bit of green here. If you wanna see what this is actually doing to the image, come back to this node here where we applied the plugin and hit Control D on the keyboard to disable that node. If you wanna see the before and after, click on the node that you applied the adjustments on, hit Control D to turn it off and on. So we can really use this tool to give us an idea of how our skin tones are looking. Of course, you want to look at the final image to check you're happy with it as well. Once again, if you turn this off, this is after, this is before, this is after, this is before. Watch what happens on the vector scope here. This is before, this is after, this is before. You can see all of this red in the face here and after it moves closer to the skin tone line. There's an even cooler trick to this though. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna delete this from the clip level effects. We're gonna come up here and we're going to change this to timeline. Any nodes that we add here affect the whole timeline. I'm going to hit Alt S to add the node, add the DCTL and choose mono balance. Now, if we click on this light box, it's going to show us all of our images. If you don't see the effect, right click on any one of these images and choose update all thumbnails. We can see it's showing us how the skin tones look for every shot in this timeline. And we can zoom in here. You can see most of these shots are mostly yellow, but this shot down here is definitely different. So we can click on that close the light box, come back to the clip level and go and fix it. Here's some before and after shots where I went and regraded some older videos to get the skin looking better using this tool. Please like this video if you wouldn't mind and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.